Okay, oh, hallelujah. We are live on Facebook. Uh, we're just about to go live on TikTok uh, with the keto Nick cooking show. So that's kind of there. Go live there. So. Don't often do all of these at the same time. So that's that one, that's that one. And what have we got? Lastly, but by no means leastly, and probably the most importantly, uh, is actually we're gonna be going live on Amazon as well. Uh, Any time now, just waiting for the stream to come from Amazon, yeah. So now we're live on Amazon as well. Happy days, cool. Welcome everybody, how are we doing? Welcome everybody, this is the Keto Nick Cooking Show. This is gonna be the new time slot, I hope, 4 p.m. in the UK, which is uh, 11 a.m., I believe, in Eastern, and hopefully 7, no, 8 a.m. Pacific. Hopefully catching all the time zones, apart from probably uh, the Australians, but never mind. We, uh, you can't be helped. Right, just checking everything is on. Everything looks like it's working. Just going to double check the... Everything is on. Everything looks like it's working. Double checking the Amazon page. That's working fine as well. So, yes, welcome to the Keaton and Cookie Show. Right, today we're going to be doing something that might not be so keto, but uh, it's actually going to be a lovely, easy cheesecake. Let's have a dessert to kick ourselves off with. The sun is shining in the UK here. It's an absolutely beautiful day. So do let us know uh, what it is you want to do. Now, if you're watching on Amazon, we've got uh, some things in the carousel. Um, please do head on over. If you're watching on uh, TikTok or Facebook, please do head on over to the Amazon page, nickwood.live, and you'll see all the products in the carousel. We've got our, our crock pot um, <laughs> just here. That's in the carousel. Um, I've got... Uh, circular on the circular pans from my circular pan set there as well. I also got that back here. Uh, we've also got the amazing Artisanica bread banneton proving set as well. We've got that there, and uh, we've got some other bits and pieces. We've also got the amazing KitchenAid right here as well, and always. I have my Nutri Ninja just here as well. So all of those things. And also, when you've done all your cooking, you make your kitchen bother. Maybe your kitchen gets a little bit dirty. We also have the pink stuff. This is incredible, incredible paste. It's an amazing paste. 99% uh, natural ingredients, environmental, non-toxic, non-hazardous, uh, not tested on animals. Um, it is absolutely great. It's a Little paste, cooker tops, saucepans, UPVC, bathrooms, barbecue, ceramic tiles, glass, showers, you name it, this will clean it. So this will get you clean. We want to keep a nice clean kitchen as we go anyway. But uh, who knows? Sometimes we get a bit of splashing and so we need to clean our kitchen. I don't know about you, but uh, for me, it's always the cooker. The cooker just gets dirty and I don't know why. I'm not sure. That's just one of those things. So what have we got going on here? All good. Fantastic, right, cheesecake. Uh, now, I did write down, mm. now, I did write down the ingredients, but I think I've mislaid the piece of paper that I wrote them down. Um, but basically, we're gonna take um, some, we've got some leftover ginger, the reason I'm doing this, we've got some ginger biscuits left over from Christmas. Now, we're never gonna eat them, to be honest. But what they do make is a great, uh, a great base. So pretty much you just want like a hundred grams probably of digested biscuits or any sort of biscuit you want. Uh, and then we're gonna add about 40 grams of butter to that. That's gonna be our base. And then from our base, we're then gonna just, this is, this is so simple, this is no bake, no bake lemon cheesecake. So we're gonna take some double cream, some, we've got uh, cream cheese. We're going to mix those up and then we're going to make it this is going to be a lemon cheesecake so we're going to be putting lemon in it zest some lemon lemon juice and instead of uh, normal caster sugar 
we're going to use some agave uh, syrup as well, which is a little bit less uh, less carby and more keto friendly. So the whole thing, I think, should be really this whole thing should only be about 23 grams of carbs. So you know, you could eat one and you'd be okay. But we don't want to eat one either. So just a little bit, just a little bit of what you fancy every now and again does you good. So I would say normally I normally have Saturdays off from my keto diet. So I'd always say. Um, yeah, have it on Saturday, <laughs> and, and that's it, uh, guys. Oh, Janet, thank you. Hey, lovely. So Janet's watching on Facebook. Great to see you, Janet. Thank you so much. Uh, brilliant stuff. The pink stuff. Yes, you see. Yeah, Janet loves the pink stuff as well. Um, who have we got watching on? Cool. Thank you for watching on TikTok as well. So cool. It's so amazing to be able to like live stream, not just on Facebook, Amazon, YouTube, but TikTok as well. Unfortunately, for the TikTok people, um, they can't see the screens and the split screens and the overlays because um, you can't uh, can't use the third party software. So TikTok people, please do come on over to nickwood.live, type that into your uh, carousel, uh, carousel into your web browser, that will take you to my storefront, you'll see the video, then you'll see everything that's in the carousels as well. So I'll leave it on the uh, the pink stuff for a moment. So what we need to do first of all, get a little bit of space. And uh, guys, if you're watching and you're enjoying this, please do um, share, let other people know. Everyone can come and join in. It's all good fun. Now, just a couple of things I'm going to grab here because uh, we want to make our biscuit base first of all so that's really going to be simple what we're going to do let's just get a little chopping board out chopping board see janet you'll appreciate this it's a board down there we go nice and simple and we'll put that camera down there. you can't see it no we've got the board uh, let's show you on this camera here let's put camera in camera that might help there we go that's it now you can see what's going on dual cam so we've got cooking cam we've got tiki tock cam and uh every other cam you can think of all good fun right so we need to weigh some ingredients out first of all we're going to be using our using our KitchenAid, so that's all good. Just pop in these things nice, put them somewhere nice. And the KitchenAid mixing unit, we're going to be using these KitchenAids. So I'm going to put the KitchenAid, put the KitchenAid into the carousel because we'll be cleaning up later on. Yeah, I've got to find it in the carousel. Yeah, so KitchenAid after than mixer, uh, and it comes with three different attachments. Today we're going to be using the whisk attachment, which is all good. Um, but you do have the dough hook. So if you're going to be making bread, you don't want to go through the hassle of kneading your bread dough hook with that. Still put it on for a good 10, 15 minutes. Uh, and then you've got the cake paddle as well. Uh, brilliant for, for beating, um, so yeah, cake making, butter, sugar, that sort of thing. <laughs> Things that are not keto, <laughs> things that are not keto at all. Oh, how did that get in there? Let's move that out of the way. We don't have that, but we do want uh, this little element here. And I'll plug it in a little bit here. So what have we got? Let's see. So we need, right, the base. Let's do the base first. So we've got our ginger biscuits. I'm going to turn my scales on. Now, and because we're going to crush the biscuits, I've got some little freezer bags here. I'm going to pop the biscuits in the freezer bag, bash them, and uh, that way crumbs won't go everywhere. And we'll keep the kitchen keep the kitchen nice and clean. So first things first, let's uh, let's weigh out some biscuits. Um, what have we got here, guys? All following along. It's like, a, it's like a cook with mother. So, how many is that? Ooh. Yeah. 
Mm. One more. That's about it. Yeah, so that's five thick ones. Uh, and I say that's going to be about 100 grams of 100 grams of biscuit. And so on the biscuits, also, I want some butter. Let's get some butter out. And more. Okay. Maybe you won't do that. Ah, oh, no, I'll tell you what. So, actually, this is a really top tip. So, what we can do is, right, so we put the biscuits in the thing. Bash, 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 bash. Job done. Now, actually, I think these are going to fit. Pretty much perfect size. Yeah, so what I'm going to do, what I'm going to do actually is I'm going to use that as a biscuit base. Um, oh, Chloe, I'd love to accept you on uh, right now, but uh, we're, on a, we're on Amazon, we're on Facebook, we're everywhere at the moment, so I'm just going to be using. So I'll actually use these as, as an actual base for little mini cheesecakes. So that would be good. But uh, so we'll use two to make them. So I'll just show you what I meant by the by the sandwich back. So just open those up, pop them in there like so, and then bash them around. Actually, not complicated. Let's do it. Let's do it as I said I would. Kind of cheating, let's pop more than here. And actually leave a little bit of space so that the air so the air can get out. In case it gets a bit noisy. If you've got any questions, um do please ask away, ask in the comments. And all we're doing is just break it down. A nice crumb. I mean, what we could do, we could actually just pop it in the Nutri, Nutri blender and that was zapped it for about 10 seconds, not even that, and all these biscuits would be done. So that's it. So that's great use of your old, of your old ginger biscuits. Uh, right, now, as I say, you want to just pop. That is way too big, that's what I need. So I'm just going to go grab, I'm just going to go grab another saucepan. So while I do that, let me just play you, because we've got these artisanka, banaton, bread, prov bread proving baskets. Really cool. If you're into bread, if you're wanting to make some, uh, some sourdough bread, these are fantastic. And I've got a little video I can play you on this. And if I just go into my... This is like a shop, we call these shoppable videos. They're on the storefront. And uh, they are absolutely brilliant. So uh, I've got all sorts of things on the storefront at the moment. Let's go into manage videos. Mm. Okay. Why it's caused me to sign in, very strange. I'm really signed in. Come on now, baby. Ah, here you go, manage videos. Yeah, this one. Right, so I'm going to share, I'm using B.Live, which is brilliant uh, software, which allows me to do these things. This is just a simple screen share, but uh, B.Live allows me to uh, split my cameras. So That's allowed me to put extra cameras in. So uh, let me just pull it up in the right frame tab. Right on bread baskets. Right. Here we go. Here we go. It's coming in the stream right now. So what I'm going to do is going to switch myself off and uh, play this little video.
hey Jacilla, live streaming all oh, right i'm gonna show you mine all right i'm gonna go i'm gonna jump in on yours Jacilla, hold on uh, hold on Jacilla, hold on let me just do this these are the beautiful artisan yeah, anchor bread banneton pruning basket, basket set so you have a couple of these you have a pruning basket with a cloth liner and two removable bottom patterns and a beautiful dough scraper and with the whole set you get a selection of bottom patterns for the patterns to be appear on your bread so here we have a heart shape there's also a windmill shape there is also a beautiful unicorn shape and we also have the lovely teddy bear shape as well how do we get to use those it comes with an instruction manual so we have the instruction manual here which uh, as i said we sprinkle the proving basket with a mist of water and a sprinkle of rice flour then we prepare the desired pattern mist with water and sprinkle with flour again and then place the coated pattern inside the basket face up when your dough is ready for proving place it inside the basket with the smooth side placing the bottom of the basket after proving remove the basket and the pattern and follow the lines of the dough with your razor blade lame then bake and enjoy your beautiful bread and of course clean your wooden pattern by brushing off the excess flour if the dough stuck rinse it with lukewarm running water and air dry to prevent dampness and as you can see we did that with this teddy bear one which is why it's a slightly different color to all the others <laughs> okay so that was uh artis anchor that was the artis anchor Benetton, Benetton. Uh, bread proving set which is uh, always cool so uh, sorry guys on TikTok you wouldn't have seen what was going on there but not to worry you should have just come over and uh, and Jessin Jazilla Queen she's on as well hi Jessilla I'm gonna come and see you uh, straight after I think so let's see what else so we're what right, so where was where was so we have our we have our crushed ginger nut base um, we just need some butter so for this, I'm going to just use 40 grams of butter. Don't need that anymore. Let's pop that back. Keep it all nice and clean. And uh, normally, I have to say, normally, if you're not talking, um, you can do this really quickly. And let's get on zero. Fantastic. 40 grams, I reckon that's about 40 grams, so I could be wrong. I did wash my hands before I started, guys, in case you have wonders. Oh. 47 grams, that wasn't far out, to be fair. That can go away. Now, what we're going to do, that's gone into the pan here, as you can see. Um, so we're just going to melt our butter. This will take two shakes of the little round's tail. Let's move the, <laughs> move the pink stuff out of the way. There you are. That's all good. That's going to melt in two shakes. In fact, I'll add the biscuits while we're, while we're here. So Let's have one over way round to open the bag as well. So, here we go. so this is our. See, we can keep those bags as well. They're not going anywhere. And basically, we're just gonna we're gonna create a little a little buttery biscuit base um, that we can use on our. For our cheesecake. And now I'm also looking around desperately trying to find our, desperately trying to find uh, my my little cheesecake bowl. I might have to put another video on. So as you can see here, hopefully you can see, this is just melting the butter with the biscuits. 
that's just doing a nice nice sterling job and you can put that in the base and uh, sit our cheesecake atop atop of it so hopefully you can hear me i'm using um so i'm using a couple of cameras today so we've got the the built-in cam the cooking cam is the built-in camera on the laptop i've got the c920 logitech camera that i'm talking to you in and sharing uh, through b.live and then i've got my old uh, 6s plus phone for doing it on the i just realized got a big wire stuck in the way of my little TikTok viewers never mind uh, so yeah if you want to see the clear picture i said you before you have to head on over to uh, to amazon and see it in all its glory Uh, this, isn't oh, well, this isn't going to be the best dish to have it in, but you will get the you will get the gist. So I've got that going nice. So that's all melted. Melted, lovely. So I'm going to take that off the heat. That's good. I'm going to get a little bit of oil baking, uh, baking parchment. And I'm going to tear some of this. Only so I can actually just lift it out at the end. Hey, Karinda. Well done, you defended yours. Yeah, I'm running late on the money. This is only supposed to be a quick half an hour, Karinda. Okay, right, so let us now put our biscuit base. So this is just uh, ginger biscuits. And spread it out. You don't want it to be too thick and it will thicken and set as the butter comes back together. And of course there is butter in the biscuits as well. So uh, be careful on that. But there you go, so that's a nice, Buttery, buttery base there, so that's all good. Right, so now we've done our base. In fact, what I'm going to do for speed, I'm going to pop that base, I'm going to pop the base in the fridge so that it can start to set. Mm, not a lot of space in my fridge today. Right, start, start to set. There. So I'm going to use this part of the KitchenAid right now. Uh, what else are we going to do? Uh, we'll go back onto the pink stuff on the carousel. We've got all sorts in the carousel. We've got the Ninja, we've got the crock pot. Uh, we're not actually using them today, but we have also got um, the pink stuff that we use for cleaning our kitchens as they get dirty. So we have got, what are we got here? We've got 284 mils of double cream and that is going to be plenty plenty in fact we probably only need 200 mils of that so i'm just going to roughly guess that's about 200 ah oh, do you know what? let's go let's go for it let's put the whole thing in what i'm going to do i'm going to it up and actually as this is um as this is double cream uh and extra extra actually extra thick double cream so i'm actually just going to use the whisk um because it will, it will firm up very fast indeed so we're just going to beat this just beat this into uh, lovely firm peaks 
Okay, okay, okay. Okay, number two. The same for me. firming up anywhere near quick as I thought it would. So when in doubt, let's actually go and use the tools for which they were designed. So whisk is on. And I'll whisk that into it's just a nice thick consistency as well. Yeah, that's coming along lovely. Hopefully it's not too noisy for you, so uh, bear with us. Uh, and if you like to say, if you want to on TikTok, uh, please do come on over to uh, Amazon and click uh, and we'll be good to go. Yeah. All right, pop a little plate under there. nice and thick and to that we're going to put our cream cheese and a little bit of sugar so let's pop our cream cheese this is a family pack and um, basically you need about 250 odd grams there to put that right so pour that in it's all coming in a one excellent Doing very well indeed. So they are all done. And uh, this, I think, is better just, oops. I've just put cream all over my laptop, <laughs> uh, which is pretty cool. And I'll say, I need, ah, I'm also needing my sugar, which is a little annoying as well. Um, yeah. Right now, what I forgot to do was actually take, so move my camera up and then, because my sugar is actually in the cupboard. I want to get to, which is a bit annoying. So TikTok friends, I'm just gonna move you as well. And then just so I can open this cupboard. Uh, yeah, now I've opened it. Now I've opened it, I think we'll be okay. I'm going to move that camera around slightly, hopefully, yeah, and so now the TikTok people aren't missing out, or aren't getting an interrupted view, and uh, yeah, so we're going to have a little, of, little bit of agave syrup, so uh, a bit of agave syrup, that'll do very nicely indeed, so just pour a little bit of that in, just to sweeten it a touch, and we also have to pop in our our lemon, of which there are none. Now, fortunately, we are back. <laughs> we are back and we're good. We got the lemons. Hopefully we're still broadcasting yet. Yeah, Amazon hasn't switched us off for being dead air. So right, so we've got those in it. Right, so we want to zest of some lemons. So I've got my little micro plane up here. So we're gonna add the zest, pretty much we're gonna add the zest of two lemons 
but you get so much flavour from this test. And it's going to cut through the little sweetness of the agar and, of course, that uh, biscuity, buttery base. These are quite big lemons, so actually, you really need one of the part of those. And when you're zesting, don't uh, don't take it all the way down to the white if you can, because uh, that would be a little bit bitter. So just get get the actual lemon, like so, and then we're going to add in some of the lemon juice as well. So here, guys, it's really is a personal preference as to you know how lemony do you want your do you want your lemon cheesecake to be? If you want it really lemony, then uh, obviously you put loads of lemon juice in and lemon zest. Um, but uh, sometimes people like it really tart. And actually, if you're going to make like a lemon meringue pie, um, then you can make a lovely lemon curd. You can make that as tart as you like, and then have beautiful whipped. Um, meringue egg white on the top, that would be amazing. Now, I haven't used up all of those lemons, so I want to keep them safe somewhere. So I'm just going to pop them in a, in a little bowl. Now I use these little ramekins, they're really great for, you know, for this sort of thing. I normally get them all in, so that's, that's it. That one and now, so we have that mixture in there, so we can now take that, pop that back in our KitchenAid. Put that down. Switch it on. And that's going to mix in that lovely Nagar syrup, the cigar syrup, the double cream. Yeah, that's really thickening. I'll see this in a minute. Really thickening. The agar, the cream, the cheese, the lemon. Absolutely beautiful. And this would make a beautiful like, filling uh, for the cake or something like that. Give that a good old mix. Yeah, let's see what that looks like. <laughs> That's gone beautiful. So. As you can see, look at that. Absolutely gone firm as chef's privilege. Oh my God. That is so delicious. I tell you what, I could probably even put I could probably put a little bit more lemon in there. I didn't want to overdo it, but my goodness, that is nice. So let's get on. See, this is the best bit. See, I mean, this is so easy. It's got a little bit of cream in there. So easy that uh, if you've got kids, got children, then uh, get your children involved. They would love this. They would love it. They would lick the bowl afterwards. They would lick it clean. How fantastic is that? So now you have this amazing cream cheese mixture, which is uh, literally cream, cheese, lemon, touch of agar, just to sweeten it a bit, uh, and lemon zest, lemon juice. That is all there is to it. You could actually um, tell you what would be a nice little addition would be if you've got a vanilla pog or a bit of vanilla paste, just a tiny bit of that, just to. Again, just an extra layer of flavour would be amazing. And on that, we are going to bring out our biscuit base. Now, that is already beginning to set. And so that is our biscuit. And what we're going to do is going to fill it up. Oh. And for every last 
Here's the last morsel. And uh, oh, look, this was just the perfect size in the end. And so we've got just enough to fill it all. Thick cheesecake. So I'm going to get a spoon. We don't want to. We don't want to have to lose any of this. Just going to smooth it over. Like so. Now, if I'd have been thinking a little bit, then I'd have probably kept back a little bit of the cream and then we could decorate it afterwards. But basically, it is that simple. Uh, it's that simple to have a little, little cheesecake uh, on a beautiful ginger biscuit base with, this is not keto, is it? <laughs> ginger biscuit base. Uh, we did use our garb, um sweetener as opposed to sugar. But yeah, basically, I mean, and think about it, there's no nuts here. There's, uh, there's, there's no allergens I can think of. It's uh, vegetarian, which is another great, uh, great thing with this recipe. But guys, this is it. This is the first show back. So this is a bit of a, let's get our, let's feel our way back into it. So I've, uh, I've had a great time sharing it with you. Um, what sort of aftershave is that, Corinda? Oh, yeah, that's, uh, yeah, I've got uh, lots of different aftershaves there. Amazing, Corinda. It's, uh, that one is uh, Chanel Bleu. Uh, that's really nice. I really enjoy that one. Thank you, everyone, for watching on uh, on TikTok. Do, uh, do say hello and uh, leave a message. Thank you, everyone who's watched. Thank you for Janet and Corinda watching. Thank you for uh, Jalissa Queen, uh, who's also live streaming on Amazon right now as well. So this is every Thursday now will be the Keto Nick cooking show. Now I'm going to, come on, actually, we'll do some proper keto recipes. Let's actually, let's actually learn how to cook uh, and be healthy together. The reason it's keto, I've lost... Uh, I lost about 50 pounds uh, through changing to a keto lifestyle last year. So I was super, super uh, pleased about about all that. So, um, yeah, so it's a keto style. Um, yeah, I've been to the Raven Blanc School of Cooking. Who knows? One day we might have the England-Australia cook-off back with Adair. Uh, I think she's, she's having a good summer, so uh, she might not fancy cooking on a Tuesday night anymore, but that's okay. Um, so anyway, that is it. this is a, that's a cheesecake. We we're going to have a pie off, you see. That's why I thought, let's do the cheesecake. Um, so yes, yeah, so until next Thursday, I'm back tomorrow with the usual show, chatting about um, video tech gear, but also um, I'm going to add some things. That, you know, I'm actually going to talk about this, uh, the pink stuff as well. It's, um, it's great for cleaning, so I'd thoroughly recommend that. And uh, and that's uh, that's cool. Um, Corinda is saying, I'm on TikTok as well. Yeah, how to get live on TikTok. Yeah, Corinda, I can't use Be Live to get on TikTok, but uh, I can live stream on TikTok. I'm doing that directly through uh, my phone. So uh, and it's great. And I'd love, because I'm like on Amazon, uh, people say, oh, can you join in? I can't join in on TikTok, unfortunately, because we're also live streaming on Amazon. And uh, Facebook as well. And I just realized it didn't go onto the YouTube link. Never mind. So anyway, until next week for more cooking, let us know too, probably in the chat. Um, if you're watching on Facebook, just uh, whack them in the comments. Uh, pop them in the comments in Amazon as well. If you want to, want something else to learn how to cook, then uh, let's do that all together. So uh, goodbye to my farewell, my Amazon friends. They're just leaving now. Um, this is the thing when you're live streaming all these different places, you have to you have to switch them off in a different order. Goodbye, farewell, Facebook friends. And uh, see you again tomorrow, hopefully. And uh, that's coming off nicely. So it's just, hey, tick, it's just me and you, man. It's uh, saying that's still switching off. And who we got there? 